Delta County advises its residents to prepare for the spring flooding season as this year's snowpack warrants of dangerous conditions. Our reporter Kirsten McBriar spoke with officials leading the efforts to prepare for the runoff. Kirsten. Yeah, thank you, Christian. One county commissioner admitted he's nervous about the next few months. The Young Compadre Plateau currently holds record-breaking snow levels unmatched for 30 years. Delta County knows they've got a problem on the way. Uh, this year, if you look at the Snowtel report, we're about 47 and a half inches of water content up there, so it's still a dangerous situation. The National Weather Service reports that every 10 to 12 inches of snow accounts for one inch of water. If you remember our report last week, just one inch of water flooding your house could cost you up to $25,000 in damages. We are very nervous about the amount of water that's going to come down the Rubido Creek, the Dry Creek Basin, and, and also Escalon. Delta officials began working on their flood response plan by late March. Meetings with state, local, and federal partners will continue through April. Chance favors the prepared mind, so we are just trying to make sure we have as many assets in place, that we have as many plans as in place that we can. Ideally, we won't see high waters for another 30 days, probably. Supis asked residents to remove trees or branches that have potential to break when flooding occurs. One of our biggest challenges is trees. You know, it's when the trees fall down, they get caught up in the bridges and build up the water. That's when our, our biggest problems happen. The county anticipates flooding to begin by the 1st of May and more mid-May to June. Supis says a large population lives near flood zones and are highly likely to be affected. When this water hits, the county's main focus is going to be keeping roads and bridges open and houses and private property is probably going to be later on the list. The county will have free sandbags available for residents, but officials want to remind that flood insurance is not covered by homeowners insurance. It can take up to 30 days to go into effect. A new plan will be devised in case evacuation is required for residents. Typically our Red Cross plan involves evacuating into schools but uh, this flood season is going to put the schools, they're going to still be in session. Supis tells us that Mesa County and Montrose County will be experiencing the same thing at the same time. He says we will have to rely on ourselves to get things done. We will have that flood map linked on our website so you can check your area's safety, as well as extra resources we have for Delta County residents. Kirsten McBriar, KKCO News 11. Thank you, Kirsten.